Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're all doing very well. This evening I'm going to be doing a movie review. This movie is a horror film from the UK, English language, released in the year 2008, directed by Johnny Kavokian, and this film is called The Disappeared. So The Disappeared is set in the estate in England, a lower housing income area. You've got this father whose uh, wife had disappeared, and so he's left with his teenage son and his younger son. So one day the father has to leave, so he tells the teenager to look after his younger brother, and this is on the day of the teenager's birthday, so he's with his friends inside the uh, the apartment. He's smoking and so he tells the younger brother to go outside and play on the swings until he calls him back inside. So after the party finishes, the teenager goes to get the younger brother, but the younger brother has disappeared and he is never seen again. So this ultimately it torments this teenager and since then he has gone into a mental hospital because he has been a risk to his own life because he's wrapped with guilt and he sees this as his fault. And not only does he see it as his fault, but he also his father also sees it as as the teenager's fault and so when he comes out of the mental hospital the father is trying to reconnect with his teenage son but it's a lot more difficult than first anticipated and things are about to get complicated when the teenage uh, son starts to suspect that there are clues that could lead to the whereabouts of his younger brother and there is a faint hope that maybe the brother is still alive so whether or not that is the case is something you're gonna have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis now my thoughts on The Disappeared. Initially, my expectations of this film were not very high. I was expecting this to be a jump scare sort of paranormal horror film. But in the end, what I got was a movie that was very similar to Juame Belaguero's The Nameless. Now, if you don't know who Juame Belaguero is, he was a uh, director who really made a name for himself from the Rec franchise. Now, I won't go into the Rec franchise, but as far as Spain horror, Spanish horror is concerned, Juame Belaguero is a very recognised director. And I think one of his most underrated films is The Nameless. And the reason why The Nameless was good and ultimately the reason reason why The Disappeared works is because it's not only a horror film, it's not a movie that relies on jump scares, it feels like nothing in this movie is lazy. It actually felt like a character drama, it was family dynamics, coping with a very stressful situation, coping with the idea of loss, and because you actually can connect to this and invest your time in a very realistic situation, it makes you go on the journey with them. So you feel very exhausted and you want to know the whereabouts of this young boy, and I think that the level of mystery behind this boy's disappearance is ultimately what makes it scary. It's a very haunting film. It's a very atmospheric film, and I just think that the reason why it was uh, the, the reason why it was so atmospheric was because you don't know what's happened. You know, uh, can these people that this teenage boy is talking to can they be trusted? Do they know something about the disappearance of this boy? And because you have that all that unknowns, um, uh, you know, the, the unknown element between. Uh, with everybody, including the father, you don't know who he can trust, and so you don't have any safety net, and you don't know where to go to get comfort. And so I thought it was a lower budget film, which really helped uh, get the feeling that it wanted to. It was set in the estate, which is, as I said, lower income housing, and it actually felt like you're in an in in estate. And you know, you've got the horror set pieces that were very subtle. Uh, there were moments where you didn't know whether or not this teenager was going insane once again or whether or not he was onto something. You know, the, the passion for getting to the truth, maybe that was getting a little bit too much. And so you can really connect and sympathise to the main character. As I said, not only the main character, but the father. And so the father and the teenage son's relationship was very interesting because it was very strained. And when, just when you think that things are getting on the right track again, something happens where it just it goes back to square one. So you feel that this is a real relationship and these are things that actually happen to people and you know coping with stress and how destructive that stress can be on a relationship and so I just thought, as far as the acting was concerned, it was very good. Uh, the father plays, once again, as I said, a very sympathetic character. You've got the young boy who does a good job. It's a very minimal sort of dialogue that the young boy has. I won't go into too much detail about his role, but I thought that was very haunting. Every scene involving the young boy was actually quite, not only haunting, but also emotional. And then you've got the, the main character. Now, I do have a, a few problems with the main character. And number one was that I thought some of the scenes were a little bit too much, in that he was trying to the, the director was driving home that you should be feeling sorry for this boy. He was driving home that this boy was starting to crumble mentally. And there were situations where we already knew that, but then the director goes a little bit too far into trying to drive it home, and, and therefore you become a little bit desensitized to the situation because you know that they're trying a little bit too hard. And there are other scenes where it doesn't try too hard, but then, then there are other scenes that are reminding you that yes, he's feeling guilt, and that yes, his father doesn't really uh, feel that he can trust him, and that the world is against him, and you kind 
kind of feel, okay, we, we know that you're getting a little bit you know, too full on in that department and it's kind of treading familiar territory instead of actually progressing further. So there were some scenes that I thought it made the film stand a little bit still and that was ultimately the biggest problem with the movie. So... Having said that, as I said, the, the horror set pieces, it is more of a spooky film, a creepy film, than it is a straight-out horror film. So if you're looking for something with jump scares, then you're not going to get anything out of The Disappeared. But if you like Juame Belaguero's The Nameless, or you like films that just have a very brooding atmosphere, and it captures you on a very emotional level, then I think The Disappeared is something that I would uh, recommend you go out there and see. The ending was a little bit generic. I thought it was a little bit silly, but it doesn't derail it, and in the end, what you get is a movie that was a lot better than you probably first think. So overall, for The disappeared gonna give it three and a half stars go out there and see it all right guys that's it for my review hope you enjoyed it till next time you watch your movies and i'll see you later